Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C Programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, we learn about the for loop. Similar to the while loop, we use the for loop for the purpose of repetition work. When we need to execute some statement again and again, we use for loop. Let's see the syntax of for loop. First write the keyword for and inside the parenthesis, we write three statements. First, initialize the counter which is similar to the while loop. But in case of while loop, we initialize the counter outside the while loop. But in this case, we initialize the counter inside the for loop. Next, test the counter or check the condition. If this condition is true, then the statement inside the curly braces will be executed. Or if this statement is false, then the for loop will terminate. And finally, we increment or decrement the counter. If you don't increment or decrement counter, your loop will be an infinite loop. Let's see how for loop is used in a program. First create an integer type variable int counter. Here we write a simple program which print the number from 1 to 10 similar to the while loop. Now we write the for loop. First write the keyword for and then a pair of parentheses and then a pair of curly braces. Now inside the for loop, first we initialize the counter. Counter equal to 1. And then test the condition that is counter less equal to 10. When this condition is true, then the body of the for loop will execute. And when this condition is false, then for loop terminate and now we increment or decrement the counter in this case we increment the counter that is counter plus plus if we don't increment the counter our loop will be an infinite loop because here I initialize counter equal to 1 and check the condition counter less equal to 10 this condition is always true so this loop execute again and again forever so this is an infinite loop so you must increment the counter now we write the body of for loop here we print the value of the variable counter so right here printf percent d slash n counter let's check the output compile it and run it it print the number from 1 to 10. Now we learn some more property of for loop. You can initialize more than one variable inside the for loop. You can write here x equal to 0 and these two variable separated by a comma and you can also increment or decrement more than one variable. So you can write here x plus plus but you can't write here more than one condition you can check only one condition here inside the for loop but there is another way by which you can write here more than one condition that is logical operator using the logical operator you can combine more than one condition so you can write here and and then x less equal to this is possible because when you write the AND operator, the whole statement considered as a single statement. Okay, now delete it. If you want, you can initialize the counter in the declaration statement. So you can write here counter equal to 1 and delete this part. But don't delete the semicolon. Semicolon is necessary here. A semicolon in C indicate end of statement. So this indicate a blank statement. So check the output. Compile it and run it. This print the number from 1 to 10. And if you want, you can use the increment or decrement statement inside the body of the for loop. So right here, counter plus plus. This case, you also get the same output. Check it. 
compile it and run it it print the number from 1 to 10 that's all hope you understand next tutorial i discuss about the do while loop thank you for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe this channel